Hi, welcome to our podcast, My Quest to Teach. Uh, welcome back to another podcast about an area of education that I am very interested in, uh, dealing with parent participation at the schools, um, getting more parents to come out to the schools, to volunteer, to participate in the uh, actual instruction of students by attending parent-teacher conferences, uh, by attending PTA and PTO, by attending uh, school board meetings. And it's just very important that parents understand their role in helping make sure that their children meet with academic success. Um, it's a team or a partnership between parents and educators and administrators to make sure that their children are successful in school. And my blog is entitled, If You Think School is Hard in America. And what prompted this blog was the recent participation in Courageous Conversations about Ask a Teacher um, that is located on Blog Talk Radio. And our center of our discussion was the importance of parents being involved in their child's education providing quality education to children and encouraging or reinforcing in the minds of children and students how and why education is important. So going back to basically touching on a discussion about encouraging young people to value their education, to be a part of their education, to participate in schools because of the enrichment value, because of the engagement value, and because of the knowledge value that carries on with them uh, after they graduate high school to go on to higher education or to go into the military or to go into vocational school or actually to go in to go to start working. So they have to value the education that they receive in the school system. And parents really truly need to participate from pre-K to high school. Um, it's not a hands-off opportunity for parents when students graduate from elementary school and they go to middle school and high school, if anything, parents need to be more involved in their child's education because of peer pressure, because of the changes in curriculum, because of the changes in the educational reforms that are going on yearly, particularly here in Florida. Uh, parents need to keep up to date with what's happening at the middle school level and at the high school level that affects graduation. So. It is centered around uh, a passion that I have to help encourage and guide parents and teach parents that their presence is important at school. This blog is influenced by the recent discussion on Courageous Conversations Ask a Teacher, the ongoing real talk about real issues in education across our nation on Blog Talk Radio. I wanted to reference the education of poor students from India and the lack of educational support from black parents nationwide in America. Parents need to accept their responsibility for the educational success of their children and to help with educational challenges in reading and math that black children face in schools. This is not to say that all black parents are not participating in their children's education. This is in reference to the millions that make excuses for not attending parent-teacher conferences, PTOs, school board meetings, and other activities at the schools, but then parents want to show up at graduations without, without having contributed to their child's development in the educational system. Teachers, they need parental support and parents need to be actively involved in schools from pre-K to fifth grade in the elementary environment. When students transition to middle school, sixth, seventh, and eighth, parents need more of a presence because children are challenged by behavioral changes, hormonal changes, peer pressure, and the changes in the academic environment. When children transition to high school, peer pressure continues but more pressure, is to, more pressure is toward drugs, alcohol, sex, and other behaviors that may be outside of the realm of parental control. 
As another school year winds down for students across the nation, students are worrying about their opportunity for graduation, promotion to a higher grade, possibly to attend summer school, and even, for some, the option to drop out of public education. The United States of America provides a free education supported by tax dollars generated from millions of workers in professional careers. There have been educational think tanks, educational conversations, educational committees, and focus groups. The universal ideology is that education is important to the economic welfare of the people of the United States of America. Important to the very economic foundation <clears throat> of this country, the availability of a productive and progressive workforce that is consistently stable in providing monies to support the financial, educational, business, and government foundations of this country. The country needs an educated workforce to compete globally. Diverse education agrees in its writing that parents need to participate more in the development of their children. The internet is abundant with ideas, opinions, suggestions, and initiatives to support and strengthen education. One important fact that cannot be ruled out, eliminated, or downplayed is that in this country, education is important. Nowhere else in the world is there an educational system like the United States of America. The foundation is based on parents being the first educator for their children. The importance of teachers working with parents. The importance of parents is stated as parenting involves taking responsibility seriously, taking advantage of every opportunity to enhance children's learning and providing children with challenges. In a recent conversation on conversation, Courageous Conversations Ask a Teacher on Blog Talk Radio, parental environment is crucial to the learning of students. But too many parents do not seem to understand or unwilling to take this message seriously. In this country, students can start school at age four, where developmentally, where developmentally children are blank slates. They have been influenced by parents in the understanding that they must know the basics. This includes, but not limited to, knowing the alphabet from A to Z, counting from zero to a minimum of 100, recognizing and understanding colors, knowing their full names, parents' names, and siblings' names. These are the basics that allow new knowledge to be built upon. Parenting responsibility is to teach and reinforce parenting responsibility is to teach and reinforce children before they start school. As an educator of over 20 years, I want to share with parents that interaction with children and the experiences that are provided can guide children's growth and development. If children are taken to the library, teach them to read. They will appreciate reading. Children, if you take them to the museum, they will appreciate culture. Children take them to science centers. They will appreciate science and technology. If you, expose the child, if you expose children to educational opportunities, they will learn and grow. Additional aids are in allowing children to ask questions. Parents plan the home environment with children's needs and desires in mind with books, magazines, and internet learning sites. Educational DVDs help with the process of higher order and critical thinking skills. Not just games and videos. Purchase toys that are specifically designed to stimulate children's thinking and creativity. This encourages higher order thinking and critical thinking skill sets, very important in today's educational environments. Minority students must be exposed to learning as soon as possible. Statistically, they struggle in the critical thinking and higher order thinking arena. Not that they cannot use those skills, they are not exposed or presented opportunities to do so. Stated by Dr. Matthew Lynch, 
Education is the cornerstone of success. Those who are educated have more opportunity, tend to make better choices, and will go on to teach their children to do likewise. Those who are educated tend to give back to their communities more than they take from it. Those that do not value education do not value life. Their communities and are involved in destructive behaviors. Too many young parents do not understand their influence in learning for their children. Parents, especially the growing number of black parents, need to understand their responsibility and accountability to teach their children before they start in a traditional educational environment. Nationwide, 52% of black males graduate from high school, which is compared to 78% of their white male counterparts. This is not the school's total fault. Parents play a major role in this. Seen in writings such as The Urgency Now about black parents being more involved in their children's education. The reality is those that do not get at least a high school education will cost, they will cost more money to educate in the future and cost tax dollars. The Bureau of Labor Statistics, those with less than a high school diploma, earn an average of $451 per week, compared to $638 for a high school graduate and $1,053 for someone with a bachelor's degree. There is a significant difference. The least amount of education, the higher rate of unemployment. Students who have not finished high school are hit the hardest with unemployment. They have no marketable skills to market and brand themselves. They have no marketable skills to help them make the transition from high school into employment. Parents must realize the nation's prisons have reached high incarceration rates. The largest segment of those incarcerated are black males. It is estimated by the Bureau of Labor and Center for Disease Control that approximately 60% of those incarcerated do not have a high school diploma or an equivalency, so cannot be employed. The state and not-for-profit organizations are making money on incarcerated black males. This is equivalent to slavery. If there is a time for people to come together in the name of children and creating a better society, the time is now. Solutions need to include training and supporting quality teachers and recruiting more male teachers, regardless of color or culture. More male teachers need to be involved in the educational system nationwide. Increasing parental involvement. High expectations for success by students, early intervention in reading and math programs, professional development for parents in parent universities, and a commitment by community support organizations. Students who struggle with core subjects like reading and math should not be placed in ESC or special education programs, but modified learning using technology, tutors, parent participation, and community resources. Students in New Delhi, India, their poorest children are learning under bridges. They are. Most of the children come from poor villages. Their children desire an education, but because of financial responsibilities, their parents cannot afford an education provided by the government, just as in the United States. American children receive a free education provided by our government local and state government. So what is the excuse? New Delhi children, for many of them, are working to support families. So instead of working to add to the family income, education provides these children with the tools necessary to overcome their, their poverty. Stated by a student, our teacher has told us that when poverty strikes, 
You should open your mind, and that can be done only through education. Black students and parents can learn from this important lesson about the empowerment of education. A teacher for the New Delhi students that teaches outside under one of the bridges in the open environment stated that his greatest achievement is changing the attitude of his students' parents. Many of them now encourage their children to study. Graduations will soon start across this country. This is the achievement of our educational system. But what of the students that do not graduate? The students that have chosen to drop out or those that receive worthless certificates of attendance. Each generation meets with a challenge and education is no different. The challenge is to increase graduate the challenge is to increase graduates with diplomas that open doors to higher education. Vocational educational opportunities are available as well, and even military service. But students must have the basic qualifications to apply, enroll, and excel. There should be parental involvement from pre-K to 12th grade to make sure all students are successful. Parents should not show up in mass just on graduation days. If they want to celebrate the successes, they too need to work in the classrooms, at home, and with visits to libraries, museums, and other educational opportunities. It takes a village to teach a child. Parents need to embrace their responsibility to educate at home and reinforce that education is part of the school environment. It encourages learning it empowers students and families. And schools in the United States of America are free. People have died for this freedom, and we must honor their memory by obtaining as much education as possible. Thank you.